but I'm not going to be that guy that's like, oh, I've got fucking, you know, six or eight or ten months to, you know, I'm going to suffer painfully and cancer and die and blah, 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 and then uh, then go, like, kill myself or whatever. No, actually, actually, no. Uh, I'm okay with being in a little bit of pain. I'm okay with suffering as long as I still can think and reason and speak. And I'm okay that you're okay with that. I just don't think it's necessarily cowardice if you would like to You're absolutely a fucking coward. Moving all the way across the country or something like that. That's not part of the human experience, but dying is. Don't try to sneak that shit by me, you dishonest little fucker. Humans what travel, bro. They the move. Human experience. It's not necessary to, to experience contemplate death. the end. It, it was before we farmed. And in fact, you know what? Being fucking nomadic was part of the human experience. And you would have been sitting there saying, why are you farming? Being nomadic is part of the human experience. Yeah, if so anything, these things, these things that make us separate. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, no, hold on a yeah, second. Yeah, Jeez. let's have to talk. Look, I, I just, I, I disagree with you, Shamos, and here's why. It's not uniquely human to die. Animals die. Animals suffer. Animals suffer and die. All animals. Oh, I didn't know that. All lives, hold on, hold on. Hold on, <laughs> I'm not done. Hold on a second. <laughs> what is uniquely human, on the other hand, is to contemplate death. And to, and to choose to end it without suffering and to die with dignity. That's a uniquely human experience. Um, no. Look, there's all, kind of what, not human animals also yes. themselves. So yes, I mean, that's, that's uniquely not, human. Wait, what? I'm just responding to the channels. Oh, I was just saying that um, it's not just unique to humans for them to kill themselves or something in that kind of situation. But well, you get the there's general idea. Of, yeah, I do, but just saying. And what animals kill themselves? Humans. No, no, no. Uh, sorry, I didn't see who was talking. She said that it's not unique to the human experience to kill yourself when you're suffering, right? Is that unless I'm yeah, yeah. So you want to know what non-human animals do? Yeah, I, I would like to know that as well. Yeah, I would like to know that. Sorry, I've looked, it, uh, looked into this in a while, so now I'm looking it up. Hold on. Yeah, okay. no, that's fine. You don't have to have everything. Is uh, Shamos to... muted? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's possible. Better. It's possible that whales do. Whales breach, and I don't know if they realize oh, what they're doing. I wonder about that. Hmm. Yeah, you always get you always get sidetracked on some whack ass shit. I have to always rein you guys back in. I don't know what it is about you guys. But you guys well, I mean, I made a point, but you, your, your only response so far, I was waiting for a response from you. Your response so far was, look, nah. I wasn't my, look, it isn't central to my argument that dying isn't unique to just humans. So if you think that that's central to my argument or something, you've defeased my whole point. What else do you mean by a human you've experience? Done no, you've done, look, all, what, what I mean is that it's like, it's like an essential part of the human experience. Like you, the, the guy that was talking about of traveling here and there. Yeah, it may have been. Uh, essential to the human experience or necessary at certain point in time. But that, that's all subject to change. One thing that's never subject to change is that we're all going to die. That's, that's absolutely... We, we are never... There, there's so many things that are up for compromise. That thing's not, though. Okay? And all I'm saying I'm just, is... I'm just going to... I'm, I'm going to just... Be all I'm saying is I, I just despise the fact that so many people are so much of a coward... Okay, that they wouldn't have spent five fucking days in suffering on, for all the joy this world has brought in them, just so that they can have that same terminal human experience that everyone else has got. Just about, you know, no, but they want to. They're, they're not avoiding any terminal human experience. Fight and fucking, <laughs> and then and then conk out and shoot themselves in the head or whatever, so that they don't have to play that part of the game. It's really, it makes me sick, dude. Really part does. of that, that's, that's part of the human experience is the dying. I can part, sympathize right? with the, what Shamos is saying, in, right? Laying in a, a valley or whatever, a gully next to a road, and dying over three days with your lungs pierced, that's not part of every human's experience. That's a particularly painful and sucky way to die, right? So, like, I don't see how you can say that that's just how everybody I mean, has to Let me just be his translator. Out really out of if if that, you're though. trying to refute me, I hate people that do this. If you're trying to refute me by saying merely that not everyone dies that way, you're, you're, you're just an idiot. Okay, and that's your good point. Essential, like, if you, you think that I can't acknowledge that or I don't see that or whatever, you're, or no, you're, I'm that pointing that out that somehow contravenes what I said, that's insane. I'm pointing out that you're equivocating, and you're by saying that everybody dies. So, 
people shouldn't try and die in a way that's, that's less painful because they're getting out of something that everybody has to deal with. And they're not getting out of what everybody has to deal with, which is dying. They're just trying to avoid dying in a particularly painful way. Yeah, and again, it, it seems weird that you would bring in human experience because what seems to be unique to human experience is the ability to contemplate that and avoid the suffering in that. Let me just rephrase it because you guys are just going to keep talking. Argument past. hinges on its uniqueness to human experience. God, I wish I wouldn't have used that phrase because it, it's it's utterly irrelevant. And obviously, the one thing that you guys love to key in on are utterly irrelevant things that are non essential to the it argument. Is it's perfectly I don't think my point. Like what? Sorry, okay, it's not it's not central or unique to the human experience. It doesn't matter. My point still stands. Okay, it still stands that you guys like counter fetishize the fact of like that little un un uh, pleasant part right before you die, right? And everyone wants to, like, they're so unfetishized it that they want to, like, minimize that as much as possible. And it's just, like, it's just it just blows my fucking mind, the cowardice, that, like, of all the joys you've got in this world, you really can't spend three days suffering? Really? Really? You couldn't do that. Seamus, no one is saying, no one is saying... You, you fucking have to experience the good and the bad, except you. Like, why can't... No one's saying they wouldn't take that trade. If they got to live again and knew that they would die horribly, that they wouldn't live again. But what the thing is, we're saying, when there's an option to not suffer and an option to suffer, it's foolish to choose the option where you do. Well, you Fuck can't. That's cowards. not necessarily true. Fuck cowards. Well, let me just rephrase it, Shamus. So I don't understand. What's, I mean, Hold on really quick. I've been trying to get this in for like three minutes but uh so like imagine that you accept that whenever we die it's something like going to sleep like the like just but never waking up right like you're not going to know anything it's just going to be you're going to be gone right like if that's that's your position and you know that you're only here for a little bit of time i absolutely sympathize with the chamos because as atheists and as whenever we talk about being spiritual and shit that's just a fancy way of saying we humble ourselves to the reality of existence like it's so fucking special that we get to know something while we're here for this for the split second we're here. So in virtue of, of being so incredibly humbled by this and appreciating this so much, I could see why he would say things like it's insulting, right, to just shoot yourself rather than crash into the, crack, do the plane crash, right? Like it's because it's done after that. It's not like you're going to fucking regret your decision. So I, I mean, even, for me, I mean, even for me, even if I was going to suffer like on a terminal illness, right? As long as I was still capable of reasoning and rationality and pondering my existence and pondering my memories of childhood, I don't give a fuck if I have to be in pain while I do that. I mean, if I can still, if I can still stand to the point to reflect on my past, I want to be here, okay? But after that point that I can't do that anymore, I'm not even a human anyways. You can fucking kill me. It doesn't matter, okay? Wait, but, I, but I'm not going to be that guy that's like, oh, I've got fucking you know, six or eight or ten months to, you know, I'm going to suffer painfully and cancer and die and blah, 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 and then uh, then go, like, kill myself or whatever. No, actually, no, actually, no. Uh, I'm okay with being in a little bit of pain. I'm okay with suffering as long as I still can think and reason and speak. And I'm okay that you're okay with that. I just don't think it's necessarily cowardice if you would like but to You're avoid. absolutely a fucking coward. Because, like, uh, think about what, like, the way that John John put it. I mean... If this, if it's true that this is all we got or whatever, even even those moments in in pain and suffering, just as long as you can think and reason and ponder your existence and think about your childhood and think about your family, your first kiss, your for the first girl to love you, you know that that would be wor that's worthwhile to me. I'd rather have that than not have it at all. And fuck all of you cowards that say the opposite. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. there's plenty of sayings where people are like going out like a boss, right? It. There's people that want to kill themselves when they're suffering, but just can't do it because of their fear to de fear of death and their pussies, and they can't overcome yeah, their instincts. You you're you're arguing like, against Shamos. You're arguing against. <laughs> you just. <laughs> Who just said what I'm arguing that? against Shamos? Wait, 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 wait! You're arguing you're against, against Shamos. I'm Guys, saying what, what exactly is it? Is, 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 I'm saying the exact opposite that Shamos says. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know what you're it sounded saying. like it sounded like you're trying to support Shamos. Hey, hey, Shamos. No, no, no. Shamos is wrong. It's it's the people that don't kill themselves that are fucking pussies. Shamos, uh, just to be clear here, Shamos, what is the hypothetical? Can you run over it again for me? Just one more time for the room, just for the new people, including me. The way I explained it, 
if, if you, you don't understand so it after the way I explained well, it, I don't even... you should just stop talking to Shamos. Uh, uh, Shimo, I have a question. Um, let's oh, say you're dying okay, of... go ahead. Not on. Okay, sorry. I just really want to ask this. Um, if you were dying of cancer, would you want to get like chemo and like you know, like in a way, kind of try to continue existing and like in a way, like avoid death or like what would you do in that situation? Well, I mean, it kind of, it kind of depends. You know, it kind of, it kind of really depends on like the type of cancer and stuff like that. I mean. Like um for the for the most part like um uh, like if it was if it was something that like even the even the chemo wouldn't give me very much like if it was really low success anyways and I was just gonna like and even if I succeeded I was gonna cling on to like you know however many more pitiful years you know yeah I might just I might just want to just just fade out on that one you know. Yeah. What would instead you do like, in this of, situation? Like, having to lose, me, I'm just saying, fucking, instead of like having to lose my dignity and have people wipe my ass and watch me all my hair grow, like, like I, I thought about something one time that someone said, and like I really didn't think of how powerful it was until like I pondered it after a, a long time of reflection, like many years later. But like there was this guy, and and he had cancer, and it was terminal, and like he had like a very short time to live with like very little, like no one's coming out of this. And what he did is he spent like a very long weekend with his family and like just, just spend as much time with them as possible, tell me he loves and something. And he killed himself. And he wrote them a letter. And like in the in the letter, it said something like, uh, uh, "Isn't this a fucking movie?" Well, no, no I don't know. It might have been a movie. It is. Said, it's I'd a fucking rather, movie. <laughs> he, said, he said something like, "I'd rather uh, not die and lose all my dignity and have the last memories my family has of me." As like someone I wasn't like in a in a hospital bed losing all my frail and I he's like I don't want that that to be the last memories my family has of me he's like no he's like I'm I had that weekend it was a good weekend you know and I want that that's how I want them to remember and you know like I can I'll, I can kind of understand that to a to a degree maybe. I'll repeat Shamos. So Shamos is being very irrational right now. This isn't just some preference he has, right? He, the thing is, he doesn't know. It's incomprehensible the amount. When you're not uh, suffering, it's the worst suffering is incomprehensible. So when he's uh, making this judgment, he's missing half the equation. Like he's saying something. The he's measuring like some intrinsic value of life against a number he doesn't fucking have access to. I'm confused. I don't know what that. I don't know what you're saying. You're being an idiot. Yeah, I think, she's saying I think it's easy. Should... It's easy to say you should just suffer while you're sitting there comfortably. Look, Basically, you don't know. You don't know what how severe the worst suffering is. So how do you know if life is more valuable than uh, than uh, not feeling that? Basically, I think what she's trying to say is, is no, it, could look, 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 it could be the it case. It could be the case. It wouldn't matter. It, Look, I agree. I agree that I could make an irrational decision due to some type of pressures in the moment because I was under a lot of pain. But right now, I'm not under pain, and I'm capable of making a rational, forthright how decision. So none of that. So it doesn't impugn do you know on it doesn't, me. How do you know it doesn't matter if you don't know what it is? So, Shamos, it could be the case, right, that uh, you've rationally come to some sort of just based on thinking about it, right? That you've rationally come to some conclusion about this hypothetical, right? Uh, but the reality is, right, is that there's a different set of conditions if you actually were to experience that hypothetical, right? So it may just be the case that you would work in tandem with what your musings are at the moment, and it could be the case that you don't, right? But regardless, there are different conditions there of which... Yeah, I, I agree with you. I agree same. with you. I could absolutely be in a certain amount of pain where I absolutely would go against the principle that I'm saying right now. Yeah, and that's because absolutely there's a different true. Set of conditions. But my, my agreement to that doesn't destroy my argument. Okay. All that means is that people under a lot of psychological pressure can be forced to do something that they normally wouldn't do, and that's a well-known fact. So thank you for pointing that so, out. So Who's I think all no, we're saying is – okay, no, Shamos, I think – Or it could mean that uh, when you're no longer in that pain, you block it out and don't remember how bad it was. That's what the human does is they fucking uh, – Block it out of their memory. But she yeah. used to say, "Who is more rational, the person who's them. understanding yeah. and contemplating?" I don't know. That sounds like pop psychology, Gigi. Or the person who's pseudoscience, pop psychology, to me. I don't know where you got.